Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. Last week, we did the bougie EDC Weekly, just hard flexes all around, really expensive gear, and it was a lot of fun breaking those down and finally kind of putting a dollar sign to some of those carries. But this week, as promised, we're doing a complete 180 and doing a budget EDC Weekly. I asked for you guys to submit your budget carries. I have my suspicions about a lot of these. Uh, I know that there are a lot of people out there that carry budget gear, but I have a feeling that some of these people threw these together specifically for this video, and that's not exactly what I wanted, but I, I tried my best to pick people who didn't do that. Uh, I think I got duped by a couple of people, but I mean, there's no way to tell sometimes. Before I go any further though, I just wanted to say Olight, of course, is having another sale. They're always launching new gear and always having new sales, but there is one in particular in this sale that I wanted to focus on, and that is the i5T EOS in titanium. This is their AA light. It's very much like the i3T EOS or the M1T Raider, but it is a AA light, works like most of their tail switch lights. Uh, it does have a cool white beam. If I were Olight, I'd offer every light they have in titanium with a warm beam, but that's just me. I know you guys probably agree with me, but uh, this thing is actually really, really nice and a good value. They're like 35 bucks, I think. They're 25% off during the sale. It started last night at 8 p.m. and it goes until tonight at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is not an EDC item, but it's actually kind of cool. This is the O Lantern. So it's their, their take at a camp lantern. It's got a little hook for hanging. And I actually really like this thing. I wasn't so sure on it when it first came in. Uh, this has the candle flame module inside. And yes, I said module because you can screw this off and you can take this module out and you can put just a standard lantern module inside and it has multiple brightnesses and you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, I just got this idea to do this. I wasn't planning on this, but I, I just put together this little blackout uh, budget EDC that I'm gonna give away in the comments of this video. So all you have to do is comment down below and tell me what you wanna see on this channel, whether it's a video idea, different content, whatever, just let me know what you wanna see down below. Of course, you have to be over 18 because I will be shipping a knife, but you'll be entered to win a Steel Wheel sha Shaula. I guess that's how it's pronounced. It's a nice little D2 flipper, as well as a Gerber shard, a Keysmart minimalist wallet, a Polka pin, a Lumen Top Tool AAA, and a Victorinox Tinker. These are just things I had laying around. I figured, hey, all this makes a blackout carry. I'm gonna give it away to you guys. Just comment down below. Tell me what you wanna see on the channel and I'll pick somebody at random. That's it, that's all you gotta do. With all of that said, this is the budget EDC weekly and let's do the damn thing. In the glass this week is Old Forester Statesman. I just really like this bourbon. It's a really, really good bourbon for a pretty good price. Also on the wrist this week is the Oris Big Crown Pointer Date Movember Edition. And then finally in the pocket I have in, in honor of this budget video because I, I knew that there were gonna be a ton of these submitted. Uh, I have the Civivi Elementum. This is actually the S35VN version, which you may think that that means this is an expensive knife. It's still not. The S35VN version is just $30 more than the D2 version, which is incredible. This is an $80 knife. Really, really good value in, in all of the Elementums, but especially the S35VN. And I actually have a second knife in my pocket today because, well, not in my pocket, on my belt, because I got this in today. I got it from Rue in the Discord server, one of the mods. Uh, we did a little switcheroo of stuff and I ended up getting a tactical pterodactyl mid-size Raptor in orange. And uh, this is a really nice little fixed blade. Speaking of fixed blades, yes, don't worry. I did not forget about the fixed blade video I promised I would make. I'm waiting on some gear to come to me before I make that video because I really want to send it home. So don't worry, the video is coming, I promise, uh, very, very soon. All right, let's get into the submissions. The first one this week comes from Frenick. Fre I, I don't know. Here, it's, it's over here. Uh, you can find him over on Instagram at FW underscore Leathercraft. I picked this one because I think it's very representative of a budget EDC. And that's because there's a lot of DIY stuff here. He, the Instagram handle is Leathercraft. He made these leather goods, but also he did some of the modifications himself. So when you're on a budget, some things that you can do is learn a craft and learn a skill and make your stuff. It's not something that you do overnight. It is a time and sometimes still a money investment, but over the long term, you can make your own gear and make exactly what you're looking for without breaking the bank. Anyway, first up in this photo is the phone. He has the OnePlus 7T Pro, and, and that is inside a Poetic Affinity case. Next to that, to the right, is a 
Digro K88H smartwatch. The leather strap on the watch is made by him as well as the EDC organizer, his wallet, and he also has a slip for his knife. The flashlight in the top left of the photo is the Olay i3T EOS. He also has a Leatherman style PS for his multi-tool. And then the knife in this photo is an Apinel number seven Inox. And it does look a little different from your typical Apinel and that's because he modified it. That's an Apinel I would carry. I don't normally like them, but I like that a lot. And then he made a slip that fits that new custom handle shape, which is really cool. I estimated the value of pretty much everything here, not including the phone or the phone case, because I think that's, you know, Phones are just expensive and it's hard to get around that. Yes, you can go with the OnePlus, they're cheaper than others, beside the point. Everything you see here besides the phone, estimated about $135. I also didn't count the leather goods for this because he made them himself. Anyway, he said, all leather goods I made myself, Leatherman style PS scissors I mostly use for cutting thread in my leather craft projects. Smartwatch I use only for time and reading notifications. Oppenel knife I customize myself. The blade is acid etched and stonewashed. The handle is sanded and covered with wood stain and wood wax for that retro look. I customize it the same day I bought it. So after a few hours of work, it looks 50 years older. Looks really great, man. Looks really, really good. Honestly. Anyway, thank you for sharing. The next submission comes from Robert Leave. I actually picked two photos of his um, just because I really like the aesthetic of the photos that he took, but also because, again, it's just super representative of what I'm going for here. Just shows that you don't have to break the bank to get some really neat gear and make it your own. You can also find Robert on Instagram at everydaycarry underscore RO. And then first up in this photo in the top left is a replica military watch. A lot of the things in this photo he says he got from Alibaba or AliExpress. Uh, next to that or below that is the flashlight. It just says AliExpress flashlight. Next to that is a Parker pen. He has a pocket notebook and then a leather wallet made by a friend of his, a Victorinox waiter a true utility Sharky, and then underneath everything is a handkerchief from AliExpress. This one is by far the most affordable carry featured in this show today, uh, maybe ever. It's pretty affordable, mainly because everything's coming from AliExpress. Um, say what you will about it, the availability of EDC gear outside the US is often very, very scarce. I mean, it's hard to find some of these things when you're outside the US, so I'm not gonna knock it. Do what you gotta do to get your EDC gear, and if you can do it and save a dime, so be it. The total value of this stuff, uh, about $64. $64, that's pretty cheap considering there's a watch, a flashlight, a knife, a pen, and a tool, a pocket notebook, and a wallet, and a hank. All of that, 64 bucks. Um, that's cheaper than most of the knives in this whole video. <laughs> Robert says, I like the fact that I can now theme my EDC carries after five months of getting EDC gear. Uh, everything I have is cheap, gifted, or passed down, but it does the job. The flashlight is the most used, especially now since the days are getting shorter. I write in my notebook every day from short summaries of the day to grocery lists. I made some leather stuff for me at the beginning of the pandemic, but they're not great, and I find myself going for this wallet most of the time. I got it in May, and the patina is so good. Thank you for the feature a few months ago. It gave me a boost and made me work harder for my photos, which allowed me to meet some amazing people on the Instagram community. I love your stuff. Keep making cool shit. No, you keep doing cool shit too. That's really neat. And I, I love that at the very end, um, just meeting the people in the community. I think that's something that people overlook. And people like to make fun of the EDC community in, the, in that it's like just pocket jewelry and fancy photos and gear that nobody uses, but there's a huge community behind it and a lot of really awesome people in the community. And I think that's the best part of it. Like as cheesy as that may sound, like the gear's cool and everything, but the people that I've met since being in this community is the best part, for sure. I've made some lifelong friends, for sure. Anyway, thank you, Robert. Uh, oh, and the, the second photo I chose, I won't go through the gear, but just another really cool photo. I love the aesthetic. Uh, and the J. Crew shirt, he said it's also budget because he found it thrifting. Anyway, totally different carry, and this one was also very, very affordable. The next mission comes from Zachary Mobus. You can find him on Instagram at Zmans underscore EDC. And this one I like because I've talked about this stuff in all of my different budget videos. I've talked about almost everything in this picture, which is really neat to see. I'm not saying that I influenced all of this stuff, but it's just cool to see something match all the EDC gear, the budget EDC gear that I've talked about almost to a T. First up in the middle of the photo is the Timex Expedition Scout 40. He has that on an OD green NATO strap. Next to that, to the far right of the photo is the QSP Penguin D2. That's probably the only thing in this photo that I've not talked about really. Um, there's also the Refine EP1, which is the pin between those two things. He has a Gerber dime for his multi-tool. The key organizer at the bottom is the KeySmart Flex. He also has an Olay i1R2 EOS and a Gerber shard on his keys. And he uses a Nitize slide lock mini to hold everything together. 
Underneath all of that stuff is an Ace of Hanks Celtic Knot Hank. And then in the top left of the photo is the Otterbox Symmetry phone case for a Galaxy S10. Once again, approximately accounting for everything in this photo except for the phone stuff, uh, we're looking at about $190 for everything here, which is pretty good considering you've got you know, a Timex. I think the Timex is the most expensive thing in the photo and that pin is $39. So we've got a 40, ish dollar watch and a $40 pen. The QSP Penguin, I've not talked about it a lot on this channel, but it is one of the best value knives, period. So I talk about the Elementum a ton and how it's the best knife under 50 bucks, but uh, the QSP Penguin gives it a big run for its money. It's a Micarta knife on bearings with a liner lock uh, and a D2 blade for 30 bucks. I mean, it, it, the, the race to the bottom in the knife world is outrageous right now. And QSP Penguin, like I almost got one of the Penguins uh, on pre-order, but it was actually an S30V version. This is the D2 version and it is just stupid affordable and so good for the price. I've not held one, but just everything I've heard about them is really, really good feedback. Zachary said, really been wondering if these pocket organizers are comfortable in the pocket and considering a leather one, if I could find a good one under 50 bucks. He also says, hey, most of my EDC items are budget, LOL, but I just picked up the Expedition and love the NATO strap on it. The QSP Penguin has been in my rotation for a couple of months now and it is an amazing knife for 30 bucks. I use the refined pen daily on paperwork at work and love how it feels in my hand. The Gerber dime, a shard, and the Olight flashlight are all used daily at my job as I do maintenance for a living and all three are handy in a pinch. As someone who wears glasses, Ace of Hanks Hanks are amazing with microfiber on one side. It's really neat to see all of this stuff in a single photo uh, and I definitely need to try out one of those penguins pretty soon. Anyway, thank you Zachary for the photo. And next up we have a submission from Josh. He's actually been featured on the show several times. I don't know how many times now. He's just always submitting and he's very active in the community. He's just a good dude all around, uh, but you can find him over on Instagram at EDCWYO. That's EDC Wyoming. First up, the first and only Elementum other than mine in this video is this one right here, the Civivi Elementum. Next to that is the Felsafe Goods Leather Wallet from native underscore EDC over on Instagram. He also has titanium tweezers, which are sitting on top of the wallet. Underneath all that is the Wyoming filtered mask. And then the top right of the photo is the Seiko SNK. K809 watch. So estimated value of this carry is about $270, which makes it, I think, the most expensive in the video, except for the fact that he said he got the, the watch for $57, not I think it's 130, 140 originally. So that brought it down to 187, which is actually pretty good, really good for all of this stuff. Josh says, while not the cheapest out there for sure, this is my more budget carry. Everyone knows the Elementum, so I'll just note that this is the D2 version with green micarta. The wallet is from a friend on Instagram that started Failsafe Goods. I love that he does different color combos and his finished product seems like a high quality raw product. My favorite feature of his work are the leather makers tags he stitches onto each product. The Seiko I got on sale for $57, so I included that. I prefer analog over digital, mainly to mess with younger coworkers who have trouble telling time on analog watches. It keeps decent time, and I've come to really appreciate smaller watches. Tweezers are basic titanium ones from Amazon, and I've used them on splinters, stitches removal, and picking up small screws I can get I can't get a normal grip on. It's a really solid carry for me personally. I think it's missing a flashlight. Typically, I think you were carrying a Rovivon a lot. Um, I know you kind of rotate through gear, do big sales in the server every so often, but interesting to see you pair it down so so slim. I mean, it's just a knife, tweezers, wallet, mask, and a, a watch. That's pretty slim. I've just come to a point where I end up using a flashlight all the time. And one of my favorite uses of my flashlight now is before bed, uh, we turn off the lights in Eleanor's room, like we're winding down for bed and we turn off the lights. I turn on my flashlight and she plays with her shadow on the wall. She's like just discovering her shadow, which is so funny. And it's so fun to just play with her with that. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, it, those are just sort of the things that you don't think about when, you know, a need or a use for a flashlight. It's something that if I don't have my flashlight on me now and we're putting her to bed, like I have to go hunt one down. I have to go find one so that we can play shadow before bed. Uh, just kind of a silly thing. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Josh, as always. Next up, we have a submission from Joe or whiskey underscore Sith over on Instagram. Notably, there is no wallet in this photo, so that's something to take into consideration when we talk about the value of this carry. First up in the left of the photo is the 4.7's Mini Mark II Turbo. He also has a Casio Duro with a Sapphire Crystal. That's important. 
Um, there's a Parker Jotter for the pen, Oppenol number eight for the knife, and then next to that is, of course, a Victorinox Classic in Alox. So the value of all of these items is approximately $170, but there's no wallet. So gotta add that to it. Him not having a wallet in this photo tells me he might have like something like an open C or something that's not super affordable. Maybe he left it out for that so it'd maybe get featured. It worked. And then the Casio Duro, that's a $45 watch. Great watch. I'd say it's the best watch under 50 bucks. Not everybody's gonna agree with that, but he did a mod to this one and put a sapphire crystal in it. And I, I don't know how much that mod costs, but definitely more expensive than 45 bucks. I think a sapphire, just a plain sapphire is gonna cost you about 20, 30, $40, depending on availability, where you get it and all that. So, uh, and then you have to either do the mod yourself or find somebody to do it. Putting all of that out there still really, really great affordable gear. Joe says, I love gear at all price points. Here is a great budget carry that covers all of the basics. And yeah, I think it's, it's really, really solid for me. Personally, one knife, and I said this earlier, that I can't get behind as an EDC knife is an Opinel. And it, it kind of comes down to the same thing with the Victorinox. Like if it doesn't have a pocket clip, it's just gonna ride loose in your pocket. And I just hate it. It like turns sideways and goes down. And I, I just hate how a, a knife riding loose in my pocket feels. So I'd need a slip or a belt holster or something for that or any traditional for that matter. But still, really, really great budget gear here. I think the most expensive thing in this photo is actually the flashlight which is about 70 bucks. So thank you for submitting, Joe. The next carry comes from Bill Drzmkowski. What is up with these names? I cannot say them today. You can find them over on Instagram at Bill Drizko. Anyway, uh, first up in the photo in the far left is the Olight i1R2 EOS. He also has on that a Vice Anvil Tactical Brass Bead. There's another one a little later in the photo. The knife in this photo is the SOG Terminus XR, which is a slightly newer knife from SOG from earlier this year, I believe it was released around SHOT Show. Um, there's the Fisher Space Pin Bullet in black with a clip, a Griffin Pocket Tool in D2, which I bet some of you didn't know those come in D2 now. He has a rustic EDC New Jersey Pocket State as well. The overall value of this carry is approximately about $205, the most expensive thing being that SOG Terminus. So those are about $92, which I didn't expect. It is kind of a nicer release from SOG. Uh, I'd be interested to know what the blade seal on these is for $92. My guess is something like a VG10 or I don't know, BD1. I don't know, uh, interesting. I, I don't know much about SOG at all. Bill says, this budget light is my go-to light for the late night dog walks and baby diaper changes. It fits in my fifth pocket easily and is super lightweight. The blade is a titanium nitride coated cryo D2 in drop point. I should have just read. So it's D2 for about 92 bucks. Mm. I've heard of worse. Uh, the handles are grippy G10. The XR lock and reversible deep carry clip are perfect for me being left-handed. I opened so many boxes and cut off countless tags over the last few months. New babies needs a lot of stuff. I paused my beer drinking out of solidarity for my wife when we found out she was pregnant. You're a better man than I. I drink hazy IPAs in front of Alex and she hates me. <laughs> it's so mean, but I do it. Uh, we kept up the sober streak after my son was born. He's now four weeks old. Congrats. Congratulations, really, seriously. I'm a New Jersey native and proud of it. Has there ever been anybody from New Jersey who has not been super proud of being from New Jersey? Because I haven't met them. If, if there are, if those people exist, I've never met them. Most of the folks only know North Jersey when they fly into Newark Airport. I'm from East Coast of Central Jersey, which had beautiful beaches and fertile farmland. This token helps me represent my state pride on my Instagram and reminds me of my home no matter where I go. I'm always on the lookout for knives and tools made specifically for left-handers. Uh, this carry really helped me prepare my house for my new baby. It keeps helping me be a good dad and husband. My knife got the most use with all of the boxes and baby clothes. It's really cool. I love to hear that. And uh, I'm also a lefty, but I, I'm so weird. I use my knife right-handed. I'm left-handed. I write left-handed. I couldn't even imagine trying to write right-handed, um, but I do most other things right-handed. I eat left-handed, I write left-handed, and everything else I'm right-handed with. So I don't know. <laughs> I open my knife left-handed all the time, never really have any issues with that, but pens, pens are the, the one thing that always get me. Anyway, really great carry. Thank you for sharing. And next we have Tony Meatballer Lanarelli. <laughs> uh, you can find him in the Discord server as just Meatballer. 
I don't think he didn't provide an Instagram, so I don't think he has one. But first up in the left of the photo is the Night Highs Financial Tool Wallet. He also has a Gear Infusion Ever Ratchet, that little pry tool at the bottom. The pin across the middle of the photo is the Zebra F-701. And underneath that is the Civivi Hooligan in D2. The watch is a Casio AE1300 or Royale. And then he says, all of this is sitting atop the best hanky ever created, best MEDC topo hank from Mighty Hanks. I have to agree. I have to agree. If you missed out on the Topo Mighty Hanks drop last week, uh, I'm sorry. I severely underestimated the, the demand for these. We did not get enough fabric. We're done for now. I'm going to bring them back in the future. But yeah, sorry. I, I did what I thought was good enough. You guys blew the doors off. Anyway, the overall value of this carry is about $156. The most expensive thing being the knife, the hooligan here, um, which is, a again, a really solid knife from Civivi. They just always seem to knock it out of the park. I don't think they have any duds, not that I know of. He said, I joined the EDC community in May of 2020, thanks to you and your content. Fast forward a few months and thousands of dollars later, I'm still very glad I became a part of the best MEDC family. My EDC addiction is a running joke in my household, yet they all know exactly who to go to when something is needed. Keep up the great work and many thanks. That's actually very, very true. People tend to throw shade at us because we have all these things on us and then as soon as they need something, they're like, hey, let me see your knife. Let me see your flashlight. Hey, can I borrow this? I'm gonna start saying no. I'm gonna start saying no. No, you can't, carry your own. Go get your own knife. Go get your own flashlight and put them in your pocket. Carry a purse, put on a fanny pack. <laughs> now I get a lot of crap from people for it, but uh, it's always in good fun. People seem to appreciate when there's at least one guy around who has a knife or a pry tool or something always. Thank you for sharing. Next up, we have a submission from Kyle L. You can find him on Instagram at draftier inferno with a zero dot EDC. And I picked this one just because of the black and green theme. I'm, I'm super into OD green. OD just draws my attention always. I, I cannot ignore the OD. <laughs> and the top of the photo is again, the QSP penguin and green micarta. He has a refined EP1 pen as well as a Giltec Raw uh, rapid access wallet in aluminum, black anodized. He has a Lumatop EDC 01 for the flashlight. And then the watch in the bottom, again, is a Casio Duro, this time with a Blue Shark NATO strap. The overall value of this stuff in this photo is about $163. That actually would change by about 25 if you consider that this Giltec Raw was purchased as a Kickstarter. So he got 50% off MSRP by backing the Kickstarter. Kyle says, I typically carry much more expensive stuff, but I like having a nice budget carry to remind me that budget stuff can be great too. I know that this has been beaten into the ground, but the Penguin is one of the greatest budget knives ever made. D2 micarta and a great action for around $30 is a stellar deal. The Refine EP1 is an amazing EDC pin due to its small size and great fidget factor. The Giltec Raw is a great lightweight wallet and I got it on pre-order for 50% off, so I know it was a steal. Uh, the Lumen Top is just a good little fifth pocket light that I always have and never worry about. Finally, the watch. My collection is mostly comprised of divers, but typically a good deal more expensive than this. That being said, the Duro is an amazing watch. I love how tough and practical it is. I'm surprised you didn't like it. I love the Duro. What are you talking about? The NATO strap is from my na uh, favorite NATO brand, Blue Shark. Thanks for bringing back the EDC Weekly as a more frequent series. Keep up the great work. Can't say too much now, but I think, I don't want to overpromise, but I think the EDC Weekly will be back truly weekly. Not now, but, but very soon. Uh, maybe we'll see. I can't say too much, but we'll, we'll see. You'll, I think you're going to like it. No, I love the Duro. I think that's, I said it earlier in this video. I think the Duro is the best watch under 50 bucks, period. I think it's really, really good watch. Anyway, thank you for sharing. The next submission comes from Mike R. In this carry, I just, <laughs> I saw it and I laughed really hard, but also like, honestly, he's not wrong. <laughs> uh, first up in the top of the photo is screw pop. That is a, a, a utility knife for those unaware. There is a big pin underneath that. And then at the bottom is a rubber band wrapped around some cards. That is technically a wallet. Uh, total price. I, I was wrong earlier. I said $60 was about the cheapest carry in this video. Uh, this one is totally forgot. This is in here. $10. $10 because this screw pop is about nine. I think it's $9.95 and then about five cents for a Bic and a, a rubber band. So yeah, 10 bucks. <laughs> uh, Mike said, I took budget to the extreme this week. Certainly feels weird to not have some of the normal things in the pocket, but it goes to show you uh, can be functional with minimal gear. Yeah, uh, that would probably get me through a day with relative ease. 
but it just doesn't have the, the pizzazz of having a knife that flicks open, you know? Whatever, Screw Pop has some fidget factor though. But what's the over under? Let me know in the comments down below what the over under is on somebody actually carrying this. Is this what he carried or is he just taking this photo for the video? I vote probably just taking the photo for the video, but I, I mean, no offense. I just think that's what happened here. Uh, thank you. And the last submission comes from Jeff Phillips. And this was just cool because it's themed so well. All of these colors, I don't know how you did it, but the colors in this photo, everything is the same shade of red. That's just hard to do, it's especially with red. The bottom of the photo is the SOG Terminus XR, which we saw earlier. We have a Victorinox Classic SD. Attached to that with a Nitez S-Beaner is a Nitez Doohickey. Above that is a flashlight, which is a Maglite Solitaire. And then to the left of that is the Vostok Amphibia Scuba Dude with an aftermarket NATO strap. And then not pictured is a Papermate Inkjoy gel pen. Total value here is about $176, 92 of that coming from just the SOG. I did my math wrong. Take that back. Uh, it's not $176 because the the Vostok is 90. So you do that. Let's see. Quick math here. 120, 5, 90. So 215 ish. So if you take the knife and the the watch away, you're talking about 35 bucks. So really, really budget friendly, even with those things in here. And that that the uh, Vostok, if you're not familiar, makes really, really, really good budget divers or budget automatic watches, I should say. Really cool gear. Thank you for sharing. And he had nothing to say. So just we'll just end it there. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just ignoring the 15 unsolicited text messages I got from campaigns. I'm so sick of the text messages, stop sending them. Well, thank you all for, for everybody who was featured in this video. Thank you for sharing your budget gear. It's really good to see like a, a big change in this. I think it brings the show kind of way back to the beginning because this is, this is what the show was like early on and it just kind of turned into everybody submitting the same stuff all the time. So it's really nice to see this. Thank you all for submitting as well. I mean, I'm sorry if I didn't get to your carry. There are so many submitted every single time we do one of these and I, I tr I'm, I'm adding 10 to these. I used to do three. When I first started doing the EDC Weekly, I would feature three submissions. Now I'm at 10 and I can't really do more than that. It's just the videos would be way too long and they take forever to edit. I mean, they already take a very long time to edit. So I can't do more than that, but I'm gonna switch up the format soon. I, I mentioned something a little earlier. I'm gonna switch up the format and I think it'll be fun. I think you guys are gonna like it. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't liked the video, comment down below and tell me what you'd like to see next. Um, but thank you guys and until next time, carry on.